What's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you and teach you how to slap just like Les Claypool. Learning some of these techniques can be life-changing. They can really take your bass playing to the next level. Sick, right? He's one of my favorite bassists, one of my biggest influences, and I'm super excited to break down and show you some of his techniques. Les Claypool is of course from the legendary band Primus. He's a one of a kind bass player. His technique has inspired millions, and especially me. His slap style is super unique. His two main techniques involve his left hand for slap and the flamenco technique. Let's check out his beast left hand hammer technique in the song called Lacquerhead. That is literally from one of his songs called Lacquerhead. It's one of my favorite songs and he's pretty much using this left hand hammer technique in the song. When I say left hand hammer, it's not a hammer on. It's the act of his fingers hitting against the strings as a dead note. What we wanna do is we wanna drape our first finger over it, muting the lower strings or all the strings. Depends which type of textural sound you're going for. I like to use these three fingers to hit the strings. You need to find the balance between striking it with enough force where the dead note can make a thud-like sound that cuts through, but not making the pitch stand out. We don't want that. We want just that percussive hit. When I combine my right hand with this left hand, we get not only tremendous speed, we're giving our other hands a break. You see those crazy slappers that are kind of you know, it's impressive and it's fast, but when we can kind of lighten the load with our left hand, it makes it way easy. So the main technique here, I'll break it down in two different ways that I've seen him do a bunch, is we're just gonna do it as eighth notes. So if I slap as a dead note, we're gonna do no notes, all dead notes. I'm gonna slap with my right hand, and then I'm gonna take my left hand and we're gonna call this L for the left. And then I'm gonna pluck. And then I'm gonna go back to the left. So we have slap, left, pluck, left. So really getting the feel of that right and left back and forth motion is the first step to being able to do this. Some overtones, some harmonics might ring out. Do your best to minimize that sound. You can change the order to this. You can start doing different permutations and variations of this. The slap solo after the chorus of Lacquerhead. He's doing a different combination. He's doing these in 16th note triplets. Slap, left, slap. Then pluck left slap. When you put that together and loop it, that's when it gets a little tricky. The next technique Les Claypool always uses is the flamenco technique. When you think flamenco, you probably think acoustic guitar, but we could do it on the bass too. The flamenco traditionally has a sort of roll to it with the fingers. Les Claypool doesn't do that. What Les Claypool actually does is just strike through the strings with his right hand. Sometimes for the flamenco technique, Les doesn't even play any notes, just a straight percussive dead notes. In Pudding Time, there's a cool video on Jimmy Kimmel Live years back. You can really see him do it well.
You'll see him often plant it on the neck. Or lift it up, like in Too Many Puppies. It's preference. You can see what Les does, but the technique is just taking your hand and accurately training yourself to strike through the strings in this motion. He does this in so many of his popular songs. John the Fisherman. It's such a percussive technique. He often combines the flamenco with slap. Les Claypool also has a really fast thumb. He's just fast. When you combine his fast thumb with his left hand technique and his flamenco style, that is pretty much what sums up his slapping. So a song like American Life combines slap with the flamenco technique. He's also a huge ambassador of the three finger technique. It's not a slap style, so I'm not gonna show you how to do that, but another unique one of a kind thing about Les Claypool is his tone. His tone, I can't even mimic it, is this really mid-rangey, punchy, compressed bass tone. The thing about mid-range is most bass players, when they play, they, they boost the mids, it gets a little honky. It's one of a kind. You hear it and you know it's him. He probably also owes it to his Carl Thompson bass that he plays often. These basses are like super rare and like super expensive, but it just is part of that Les Claypool tone. I can't even mimic it, but I can mimic his techniques and they are exceptional to translate to your own playing. I've seen Primus live before. It was one of the best concerts I've ever been to. If you haven't listened to too much Primus, you need to. It's definitely an acquired taste, but as a bass player, you must know who Les Claypool is. All right, that's the video for today, guys. Throw that a like if you enjoyed it. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos. And let me know if there's another bass player that you want me to cover on their techniques. I really enjoyed doing this, so keep a lookout for some other videos. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, all that, and peace.